Coming up today on That LTD Life, it's OctoLens, a new social listening tool that's available for a one-time cost over on AppSumo. OctoLens is fairly simple to understand in its premise. You're simply going to give it your URL. It'll use AI to go out and learn about your brand, and then it's gonna monitor the internet for conversations that could be relevant to you so that you can go out, engage with it. You can even use their AI tool to write the replies and then grab some new leads, make some new sales, and laugh all the way to the bank. All right, so here is the OctoLens deal on AppSumo. I'm gonna be going through this at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned until then, and I'll help you pick out a plan and a price that works for you. My name is Dave Swift, by the way. I'm from clientamp.com, and I review new lifetime deals every day of the week. Make sure you click my AppSumo link in the description so that I can continue to make these videos. I'm having a ball doing it, and thank you so much to everybody who is supporting me. Okay, so we're gonna get right into OctoLens here, but just one thing to go over quick. You might notice it says deal ends in three days and 15 hours. The deal is not ending. It's just gonna go up in price. So price increases in three days would be a better way to put this. In fact, AppSumo did this weird thing this week. I've never seen them do this before, but all seven of the new deals they launched on Monday, which is this whole first row plus Blastable, all of these deals are part of this sale and they're not going away after one week. The price is just going up for all of them. So that being said, this is my last video of the week. I won't make one until these sales are essentially over. So make sure you grab any of these tools right away if you want to get the best price. I've already made videos on Icky, Pismo, and Blastable, so go check out those videos if you need a little reassurance before making a purchase. All right, enough of that, here is OctoLens. I've already been using it, I like it, I think it's a great premise. Let me go ahead and show you how the setup works and all of the options that are available. So the first thing you'll see after creating your account is a screen that looks fairly similar to this, except you'll have to start by entering in your URL for your company. Then OctoLens, like I mentioned in the intro, is gonna go out and learn about your company. It will place in your company name as well as your company description in these fields. I didn't type this, the AI did, but I could modify it if I like to. Works for the description as well. The next section down here, additional context. This is to help the AI understand what your company does or what it's interested in. An example they give in their help doc is Apple Inc., right? They do computers and iPads and iPhones and things like that but they don't do anything related to fruit. So you might wanna clarify that under additional context. I, for the company ClientAmp, wrote, we don't help people find clients or make anything louder. I don't know if that's necessary, but I decided to use it. The OctoLens AI did enter in our industry as well as our Twitter account here. I ended up updating the LinkedIn account because it just didn't look quite right. I think it had a space in it, but uh, I'm not entirely sure this is what they want to see. However, it did save, so I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so everything we've just talked about is what OctoLens considers relevance. So this is going to be filtering the conversations based on the relevance of your company. The next thing we're gonna do is choose which platforms the conversations are taking place on that we actually care about. So the options here are Dev, GitHub, Hacker News, which I have toggled all three of those off. Then I've got LinkedIn, Reddit, Twitter, and YouTube turned on. And then finally, I have Stack Overflow off, as you can see here. Now, important to note, you need at least tier two on AppSumo to add LinkedIn and Twitter. So that being said, here is my AppSumo tier two plan that I purchased with my own money. You can see my limitations here. I get 2,500 mentions. You can buy more if you run out. Then there are six keywords that I can monitor. I'm utilizing all of them, and I get two seats. Again, we'll go over the plans and pricing later, but the big deal is really the Twitter and LinkedIn monitoring. I think a lot of people will want that. All right, so once we've got our relevance set up, we choose what platforms we want to monitor. The next thing is the keywords we're actually monitoring for. You can see my keywords over here on the left. Let me just go through the process of creating one with you so you see all of the options. Now, I should tell you that they're actually gonna suggest some using AI for you. You can start from scratch if you like, or you can modify their suggestions. I essentially just started from scratch here. So let me just walk you through all of the options. It's pretty nice how granular you can get. All right, so let's start off with our brand keyword here, client amp. Click on the triple dots and then I can see the keyword settings. 
Now, inside of the keyword settings, this is really important. First of all, I can monitor for specific platforms for specific keywords. So if a keyword only shows up on one platform where you care about it, you can set that up. That's a really nice touch. But advanced settings, I think that should just be on by default because the advanced settings are very powerful and will really help you narrow in on conversations that are relevant to what you actually want to see. The first thing I did for our brand keyword, which is two words, is add in exact match. That way I shouldn't get matches for things that aren't client space amp rather than like client and a uh, amp or, you know, like where there's other words in between. It's just two words in a sentence. I only want exact match. Now I could turn on case sensitive if you had a brand name, maybe like WordPress where the W and the P is capitalized. You could turn that on if you want. Then I think this part is probably the most important. We can add additional keywords using either an and or an or filter. Now, in my opinion, it would be great if we could have multiple instances of these where I could say, I want these and words and these or words, but baby steps here, we can't do that. So let me explain to you what we've got here. Additional keywords and I added in client amp, the brand keyword without the space because sometimes people type it in without the space and that's totally fine. We wanna make sure we're monitoring for that as well. Then we've got negative keywords here, which is fairly obvious, I think. It's just words that if they come up in the piece of content, we don't care about that piece of content. So I did guitar and mortgage because there seems to be a lot of relevant mortgage terms going around with client amp. And then we've got negative authors. So this would be a specific author that maybe you just never want to see in the results. So you can add that in here as well. Then you go ahead and update the keyword and you are ready to begin monitoring. So we do our monitoring right over here in the feed. So I'll click on the feed and I'll see all of my keywords and all of the mentions right here. I can very clearly see what platform they're on. So here is LinkedIn and it's the client amp keyword. I can generate an AI reply, reply over here, or I could mark the post as bookmarked, engaged, or change the relevance. When I change the relevance, I can mark it as either low priority, medium priority, or high priority. Now their AI is gonna do this for us, but if we disagree, we can change it right here. The priority is glanceable, by the way. It's just right here in the lower left-hand corner of each result. These are links, by the way. So if I wanted to join one of these conversations, like here's one of those mortgage people, if I wanted to join that conversation, I can click, go right over to the post on LinkedIn. Now, the reason I'm seeing this mortgage post, even though I have it filtered out, is because I added that negative keyword after seeing this result. I shouldn't see any new posts that contain the keyword mortgage, but the existing ones will not just automatically vanish because I've updated my keywords. Now, one thing that I think would be really nice is if there is zero relevance to a specific keyword, if we could clear this out somehow, but I don't think there's any way to do that. Instead, we've just got to focus on moving to the next post. Okay, so, so far we've been just looking at this general feed. It's a blast of everything. It's every platform, all of the keywords, but I could sort by specific keyword if I wanted to as well. So I wanna just find client amp matches, here they are. If I just wanted to find modic matches, here they are. Or back over on client amp, you notice that this one is not in English and I don't speak any other languages. So I can go ahead and just show English only by toggling this. Now, unfortunately, those are the only two options. I know a lot of people out there that watch this channel do speak multiple languages and they might like to find very specific language results. As far as I know, you either get everything or you get English only. I don't know if there's, you know, localized options. Like if you start an account in Brazil, will you see all languages and then Portuguese only? I don't think so, but I don't know. Okay, so that's how you can sort by specific keywords. Just click them here in the left, or actually you can also use this drop down right here to select multiple keywords if you wanted to group them together. Now, in addition to these options, you can also sort by specific platforms. So here are all the platforms, but let's say I just wanted to find the Twitter posts. I can check this and well, there are none for client amp, but if there were, they would show up right here. Like here's some for Modic. And then the other option over here for filtering is relevance. So like I mentioned, it's going to use its AI to detect how relevant a specific conversation is. And then you can find only high, medium, or low relevant conversations using these toggles. Checkboxes. They're checkboxes. 
There is a pretty customizable notification system over here, so you can get notifications when one of your keywords is mentioned. The two methods of contact are either email or Slack. So right now I have email enabled. It's gonna go to my primary email address here. I can have it on a daily or as frequently as hourly result. Maybe you don't care that much, you can turn it to weekly. And then I set a specific time for it to come out because it's daily. And then I can choose high relevance only, English only, and then the keywords that I actually want to monitor on specific platforms. Now, one minor little nitpicky hiccup here is the fact that I've specified what platforms I care about, yet it defaulted to all of the platforms in the notifications. It would be nice, in my opinion, if those things tied up, especially since I set them in the initial setup. I can imagine if I did it later on, maybe it would be independent, but Anyway, like I said, nitpicking here, but I would personally probably turn these platforms off because I don't think I would find anyone I can help on those platforms. Now it is important to note that I can't turn on Slack notifications because I don't have a high enough AppSumo plan. Well, joke's on you, I hate Slack, so that doesn't bother me. Okay, well, believe it or not, that's Octolens. It's a pretty simple tool. So let's head over to AppSumo, check out the plans and pricing. Like I already mentioned, I've been using tier two throughout this video, and that gives me the LinkedIn and X sources. But otherwise, you're gonna get everything else you've seen just at lower limits, right? So a thousand mentions, a single seat, fewer keywords, and less frequent updates of your keywords. Moving up to tier three is a significant investment. It's over $200 more in cost, but you do get a lot more limits. So we're more than double the number of mentions. We get more than double the number of seats, a lot more keywords. We also get longer data retention. So if you wanna keep track of these conversations for longer, then you can do that on tier three. You also get those Slack notifications, like I mentioned, and maybe important to a lot of people that once you export these to use in other social or automation systems, we get CSV exporting. So that is relocated to tier three. No one else gets access to it. I don't really like when deals do that because you know, that's not like taking a lot of CPU power. It's definitely just trying to push you to buy the higher tier, but we can't fight it. It is what it is. So if you need CSV exports, you gotta go tier three. All right, it's almost time for the final score, but before I do that, I just gotta remind you to hit that like button if this video has been helpful and get subscribed if you haven't already. This channel has been doing really well. We're just about to cross a thousand new subscribers within one month, which I don't think we've ever done before. So thank you to everybody who's joined on recently. All right, so onward to our final score. I'm gonna go ahead and give OctoLens an 8.4. This is a really solid tool for a very specific use case. Now. Generally, tools do better in my scoring when they do less because they have less opportunity to let me down. OctoLens is focused on this social listening, and I like that. If you need social listening, this seems like one of the best options on the LTD space right now, if not the best around. So definitely go ahead and give it a look. It could save you a lot of money over a monthly subscription. I really don't have anything negative to say about it other than those few nitpicky things I mentioned in the review. So that's all for today. Make sure you check out clientamp.com. Get signed up for the free email newsletter. I'll be back on Monday with a brand new lifetime deal review. We'll have a taco truck roundup coming up soon and I'll see you in the next review.